we just talk about setting it up? Yeah. So, Harry is going to show us how to set this thing up. This is how we should probably leave it when we're done each time. And we're going to be setting it up it's for um, working. This toolbox here is going to be on the bottom shelf down there. Um, inside the toolbox, so here we have, this is the called the collar, correct? I think so. This is called the head. Is that what it is? The, the, I think that's called the head. And then we have the nozzle that goes in here. Right. Right? The head can come off and we can clean that out. And we, we'll show that at the end when we're done. Uh, the nozzle we keep off. We have an O-ring that we stick in here as well. All right? And this is called the hopper, right? Okay, so go ahead and get out the... Oh, oh, wait, 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 no, 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 this is the collar. This is the collar, sorry, this is the collar. The head and the nozzle are in the box here. So this is the head, and all of these things we want to be very careful with, not to uh, bang down anywhere and not to drop, all right? So first, let's put on the head. Oh, no, no, we can't put on the head, the head first. First, we need to put in the drill bit. Okay, the drill bit is kept in here. We want to keep it with a little bit of vegetable oil on it. And this, we cannot drop. It's slippery, but we cannot drop it, okay? Let's see, is that, is that there? The, the, the gunk on there from last time. Okay, so here we go, we got it. We're gonna put the drill bit in, put the bit in. We disassembled this first, right? Oh, we have to take that off, go oh, on nuts. All right, that's all right. So maybe this isn't how we'll leave it every time. Maybe we'll take that thing off first. So, again, in our toolbox here, we have our uh, Allen wrench that we're gonna use to take that off. Now, you see how this, I have this scooted way back, right? So when we assemble it, or when we clean it, or deassemble it, we want this to not protrude past like this red line right here. Because that way if it falls, it's just going to hit this here. It still shouldn't fall that far, but we have to be very careful. And what you do is you have four different Allen bolts here to remove. And we, we let's leave that one right there. And we move all the other three first. So this one's always on, right? Does that make sense? Or, so it goes last. And so we have our hand ready to go when it goes, when it's ready to go, right? Okay, so we're removing the collar now. Probably faster with the Allen wrench, huh? I don't know. Okay, so now he's ready to remove the last bolt. And he's got his hand firmly on there so we don't lose it, All right? Drop it. Okay, I got that one out. And we don't want this to bang up against anything. So we have to gently set this so it doesn't bang up against anything. Okay, so we don't want our bit to bang up against anything. So now we can put the bit in. Set this up like that. Gently put the bed in. We don't want to bang it hard against the metal. We have the, here, pull it out for a second so we can see the, what do we call this again? The pin. Pin. What did he, the, the something pin, I can't remember. Anyway, so we have that pin, and that pin's going to line up into this slut, slit right here. With, all right? So generally this stuff gets hot, so you got to be sure you're not touching it. But Okay, so he lined the pin up there. And then this gently goes on. In the top facing up? Yeah. With this thing facing up. All right, and then we can start putting these back together. Again, holding that tight against there as we're putting these in because if you let it go, it's going to put pressure on that bit.
All right, then you use the Allen wrench to tighten them up. Doesn't need to be super firm, but just nice and tight. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we get our head, correct? So that's the collar. Now we use the head in here. And the head screws in just with our hand. And the way the head works is you screw it in uh, all the way down with your hand and then you loosen it up one full turn. So this one, one full, yeah, complete turn all the way around. So he'll keep going until it's tightened up with his hand. That's about right. Okay. So it's nice and tight with his hand now. So this has to go all the way around and come back to there again, right? So it goes, loosens all the way around, right there. So it's one full turn, okay? And then we have the nozzle. Oh, we, first we need an O-ring, right? And we could choose the different sizes of O-rings based on what kind of material we're pressing and how much oil we want to get out and so forth. All right, so this is our standard size, the one with the largest bore is what we're going to use right now. We set it in there, and you don't want to put your eye down looking into this area. When it's cold, it's not a big deal, but when it's hot or when it's um, uh, you're cleaning up, it can release a lot of pressure and spit stuff out at you. So we set the O-ring down in there, make sure it's just nice and flat in there. Okay, and then we're going to put the the head on, right? Or the no uh, nozzle. Nozzle. That's right. When do we put this in? Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll be okay, though. We'll be okay. Put that on. That's right. We eventually got to put the heater on. Now, as you're putting the nozzle on, you got to make sure that your the head doesn't turn here, like Harry's holding his head tight. So we're making sure the head doesn't turn when putting the nozzle on. All right, so so he tightened the nozzle up all the way with his hands, and then he uses a, a an Allen wrench here, a different one. Here, try to try. You go ahead and use this one. For a little bit of leverage but before he starts doing that he has to make sure he holds the head still so now he holds the head in location with with this wrench and then he tightens it up with tightens up the nozzle with the allen wrench yep. all right so that's nice that's nice and tight here now this is still one whole rotation loose okay now what's next the heating, the heating element and we always have to be careful about this might be hot, right? Uh, it's not hot now, so we're okay, but otherwise you want to wear gloves. Other way. That way, yeah. Is that going to fit? <laughs> yeah, we probably should have put that on before we put on the other thing, but we could have loosened it up if we needed to as well. All right, so we have our small Allen wrench. Did you get that? This one. Yep. So we heat, do we uh, tighten that up around there so it's nice and tight? Okay, good. Did you get it? Was it tight? Okay. All right, so it took about 10 minutes to set it up. And uh, now it's ready to heat. We're going to heat it for 15 minutes. And after it's done heating for 15 minutes, we'll be able to begin pressing. Okay, so we're going to take a break. Okay, so Harry plugged it in. All right, and after we plug it in, down here on the uh, power box. Now, after you plug it in, it could be hot, so you got to be careful in terms of uh, the heating element. Now, if we just click the green thing there, there we go. It turns it on the uh, light and also begins now heating our this heating element here, which we don't want to touch now. It's going to be nice, going to get nice and hot, and it's going to heat up this whole section here. Okay. 
All right, so now 15 minutes, we're going to come back. So about two o'clock and then start pressing. Okay, so 15 minutes has gone by and we have our um, everything ready to go. We weighed out a kilogram of Detropa seeds, right? That were given us to by the Hawaii Agricultural Research Center. And we're gonna put the hopper in. Now, the first thing we do here, remember now that this is hot, it's all warmed up, so you don't wanna to be touching it, it's hot, right? Yeah, we'll put our oil con collector underneath there. That was kind of a miscalculation, huh? So it looks like when we, can we get, can we get that to go underneath there? There we go, okay. All right, so we have our oil collector there. And um, we need to, I brought this box in to see if we can collect the stuff that come down from there. See if that's okay, is that all right? So we have our box here, we'll see if that works out. If that doesn't work out, then we'll bring it up higher, but we'll see how that works, okay? Then down here, there's a dial. And this dial controls the speed. We have it plugged in, everything's going, so I'll turn the dial up. It's on zero right now. I'll turn the dial up slowly. And you can see the press inside, or the drill inside start turning. All right. And we have numbers on the dial as well. And we first want to put it to three, and then as soon as we put it to three, we're gonna add in just a few handfuls of Detrofa. Okay? So, uh, Harry, do you want to film me for a little bit doing this? Sure. Okay. So, we don't want to run it very long without anything in it. So I turned up to three. Put a few, just, a, just enough to trope in there so that I can see it collecting. All right, so I can see, I want to see, there's always a little bit on the press. So I'm keeping a little bit on the press the whole time. And I want to keep doing this, just as long as there's a little bit on the press. We don't want to put too much pressure on the press initially until we see some oil come out. Okay, so now we're getting some oil out of here. See that there? A little oil out of the end as well. Next step is to see the cake seed, the cake come out. Okay, so it looks like we need to scoop about an inch to the right. There we go. We getting everything? Yep. Okay, so now everything seems to be flowing well, so we can just go ahead and put this in here. And then the very important thing to do is to be sure that the this doesn't get wedged up in here. Now we don't want to put our fingers in there, but we want to have to shake it every once in a while. Or pop it up and down like that. Does that make sense? Because what can happen is they can get wedged in this little area right here and they won't keep falling and then this will not have any seeds to press. Okay, so it looks like it's working good. Now, this is our standard washer we put in there, right? The washer that had this, the largest hole, correct? We have smaller holes, and then we have even smaller holes. And as you increase or decrease the size of the hole, that puts more pressure on the seed. And see, the shape of this seed cake is the, the shape of that hole coming out there, right? So the smaller the hole, the more oil, more pressure, and thus the more oil. And you can also scale the holes. You can put more than one of these um, in there so that this hole gets gradually smaller 
and that'll help you remove the oil better. Whoops, we forgot to keep this going. And now we'll just fill it up. So for our experiments, Harry, we're going to be keeping this at three. All right, three is the um, maximum speed. I mean, you can do faster. We got it up to five. He said you don't really have to go above seven. He's never really gone above seven much, so we don't need to go above seven. But we want to have a constant rate, always the same rate, so that we can compare that rate to um, each other, the different experiments, right? Is that exciting, Harry? Hey, oh yeah. <laughs> Oh yes, good job. Okay, so we're almost done with this kilogram of seeds. Oh, good job. Okay. So we're almost done with this kilogram of seeds, and as the seeds go um, down, and they begin to, we're almost out here now, so I'm gonna get my finger on this, the knob. Is that, we're out of seeds now. So I got my finger on the knob, and I'm going to slow it down to about two. Maybe two, between one, one and a half, and two. I guess we want to keep that on just in case there's a little bit of uh, cracking and spitting. Alright, so nice and slow now. We're waiting for the, the seed press to stop coming here for the seed cake. Okay, so it looks like this is pretty much slowed down significantly. So at this point, we can remove our, I'm gonna get my gloves on now. Um, we also wanna, where are the gloves? I I saw the other one being over here. We also wanna, be careful now because the power is still on so this is still heating um, we could turn that heater off and we could turn the power off but we're going to want to run it in just a bit again as soon as we take off this uh, nozzle all right so to remove the nozzle Okay, so uh, righty tighty, lefty loosey. So we're gonna turn this to the left to remove the nozzle. Mm, there we go. So 
So we get the nozzle out. Again, I want to be careful not to let this fall. And in fact, I should, what I should do at this point is I should pull it back so that if anything falls, I'll have the protection of the cart to catch it, right? All right, so we have the nozzle off. Now we can turn it back on to about one and a half or two, nice and slow. And what we're doing now is it's pushing out some more stuff and it's also going to be pushing out the, uh, the washer that we have in there. Okay, so that's good. We want to get that stuff out of the washer in the first few minutes because it'll get hard in there. So I have a, a screwdriver down here. <laughs> All right, looks like we got it. Okay, so that's all right there, and now we can start taking off the. Now we can take off our the head, right? Uh, so, righty tighty, lefty loosey, right? You can settle the way. Uh, good idea. still on so everything's still very hot. All right. Now we can turn it on one last time for just just gently. Why don't you get that bigger? What? Oh yeah, get that that get the uh, the yeah that thing uh, Put it underneath here so that all this junk that's going to come out we can collect. All right, so that looks like about it. Okay, so now we can unplug it. All right, it's still going to be hot for a while. You want to wind up that uh, we don't want to put anything like this in there right now because uh, we could hit our bit, bit right 
So do you want to wind up that cord so that class starts in here in 10 minutes and you got to get out of here? Okay, so we got this off. Again, it's nice and hot still, so we gotta be careful with it. So now we have to make sure we support this because we have our bit in there and we don't want this to come down and put any pressure on the bit. Oh no. Hey. Yeah. See how easy that was to come out? Is that your... Oh, that's the stuff you're pressing. Yeah. You got the lab pressure that. Yep, we're on our way out. Okay, so... So what are these? You're gonna, you're gonna, I started at 230, right, or what? Yeah, 230. Okay, we're, we're, we're leaving. All right, what, what are these, sir? Jotropha. Jotropha? Yeah. All right, I'm, I'm gonna stop this. So we'll go ahead and stop it. Yes, we can go ahead and stop it. Move into 123. And that's the red button, right? What's that? All right, so here are the gloves here. I don't know if you want to work with those ones or the, these ones. Are, is it okay? Yeah. Okay, so we had to move rooms. <laughs> See that? We got some oil. Yeah, we just finished and we're showing people how to clean it up. So, we have to clean out the collar and the head. And um, here, let's pull out that box. Move it up here so all our stuff can go into here. All the, these four bolts we want to make sure we don't lose track of, right? One, two, three. Where's the fourth one? Four, four. Too late, huh? We lost track of it already. Move into the other room. I must have left it in the other room. Is it on the deck? I 
Danito. Isaac, do you want to come film him doing this real quick? Go ahead, Nikki, explain what you're doing. All right. So what we're doing here, we're just cleaning out the oil press, all the components, um, the nozzle, make sure all the seeds residue is out. What you want to do is be careful with these, not, not to drop any of these. Stab the nozzle, and the head. As you can see, there's a lot of cake left from pressing the, the chopa, pressing the seed. So get that nice and nice and clean. Scrub it if you have to. Ideally, you want to take this box so you have less mess to deal with. And the last big pet piece. So get that as clean as possible on the inside. Ideally, you don't want to use metal to metal in this key, but I believe you can use it in this key, just not to the bit. So, you don't want to clean the bit with a metal piece, but with these pieces, you should be okay with it. Okay. With a screwdriver. So, can we use a metal piece of this? What's that? The metal to metal, we can use a screwdriver too. Yeah, right? you can use a screwdriver for that. Right? You got it? Where was it? In there? No, I just saw it. No, I just saw it. Okay. Alright, so. Gotta keep track of those four bolts there. Okay. Thank you, sir. Back down to our lower perspective. <laughs> so. <laughs> Cleaning out all the junk out of there. Obviously you don't want to try to scratch it up to any degree, but metal should be okay to clean out this piece Let's take a look. Okay, he's doing a good job here. Just a few flakes in there, right? Yep. Specs. Uh, do we have a wire brush here? So here's a wire brush you can use just to kind of brush it around and get stuff out of there.
Okay. That looks good. This one's still hot. Oh wait. It's we, just cakes inside. We gotta, yeah, still gotta get the cakes out of the, of the screwdriver, I think. No, that's okay. That's Sorry. all right. Yeah, you can use that screwdriver. They coming? Or not really. No port. Yes. Is there a solvent that we use? No. Is that solvent? Yeah, there's nothing that we. I don't know if it's gonna help. That's cake, right? Yeah. Okay. Are they, are they coming? Here, let me see it. Are they you getting out that way? Oh, good job. Yeah, it's popping it up. Very good. Let me see, hold on just a second. Okay. Are you gonna hold on just a second? You okay? Yeah. So if we spend time on the inside here, if we scratch it up, it's okay to scratch it up inside here. Wrong here, kind of concerned about, right? Because that's where the thing is rolling in there. Okay. That should be okay. That should be okay? Yeah. Looks pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, it's not that, yeah, it's not that it can pop up, but even the hard ones. There yeah. you go. Okay. Good. So, that's cleaned. Ouch, that's still hot. So, we just need to run the brush through them a little bit to get any dust particles off, and then we'll be done. Cleaning, right? get the bit and we want to keep the bit back in this Hey, how's it going? So this is the oil press here. Did you get some? Yeah, we got some oil here. We got, uh, well, this is our second batch. We're filtering the other stuff in the other room there, so. Okay. Yeah, it worked for you? Yeah, it worked great. Did you the or anything? Not the first time. Right. We do oil. Yeah. What's that? Well, this is Jatropha seed, so it's the oil inside the Jatropha seed. And uh, this is the big oil crop that people are... This is the most promising in terms of biodiesel right now. Uh, yeah, so there's a, the Hawaii Agricultural Research Center in Kunia gave us this Jatropha uh, it, it was when we test out. First so, 
but now it's not. Should be cooled down. And these are really the least hard for the first. For the they they fun. grow very easily. Yeah, yeah they grow really easily. Yeah. Chocolate? <laughs> yeah, a little bit, huh? Yeah, the stuff's toxic, and I mean, it has a, it, you can't eat it. You can't eat it. It's not bad to touch or anything like that, but uh, it does have a toxin in it, too, so you can't eat it. So, we're just trying to document how to clean it up so that we can show people how to, to, to get it ready to run next time. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. <laughs> All right, so we got everything brushed out, right, Harry? Everything. Okay, so we want to make sure it's nice and clean. We brushed out this little space in here, right? Mm Making a little spot here to set down our components. Not these with the holes. Is there residue in there to poke out or? No, I haven't gotten any information about how we should clean that yet. I actually wasn't sure, and so I emailed them and asked them what we should do, and it hasn't replied yet. So if there's anything more, we'll have to add that in later. Okay. Or you just tap it in a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I saw it come up. So, the little holes on the side here, huh? See the little holes? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I think this needs a little bit more brushing. The nozzle there. That's probably good, right? So the nozzle and the head we can put back into here. Not that one. That is the collar. The smallest one is the nozzle, the second smallest one. So I put that right in here. I laid that one right in here. I think it'll fit if it flakes out as I go. Okay, so we put the head and the nozzle in here. And we can put the collar back on. But we really don't need to, do we? Well, so you put the bit in first. we put the bit in first. So the question is, so we should probably put the, uh, well, no, we don't want to put the, so down here, let's, let's show how we took care of the bit. Okay, so this, again, carefully, we don't want any of this stuff to fall onto the ground. But so this is the bit here. Okay, you want to film me and I'll show what we do with the bit. Whoops. Oh. Okay, <laughs> so we have the bit here, and we don't want the bit to drop on the ground, we don't want the bit to get wet. We can use paper towels to wipe up the bit. We don't want to use plastic on the bit. We don't want to touch the bit with plastic. Okay, so I'm just kind of removing the residue from the bit here. Okay. On the inside. And then when we're done with that, we get a little bit of vegetable oil here.
a little vegetable oil and we uh, rub it around a bit like this. Okay. So we wash it in a little bit of vegetable oil. Alright, and we can leave this paper towel that has the vegetable oil around it here. And then we're going to set it in this some paper, or some, some uh, paper here. Set it down again so it's not touching anything but the paper. And that's the only thing we're going to keep down here so we don't ever risk running anything into there. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay, so then we put this on top. Okay. Alright, so that's pretty much all there is to that. Now it's clean and ready to go again. Alright. Now, the question is do we want to put that head back on? Probably a good idea to keep the bolts in. To put the bolts back in here? Yeah. Like, um, or just put it back on to keep them in there? Just the headpiece though, just that piece yeah. right there. Probably good idea to just put it back on. Yeah. Safer and yeah. you don't risk losing anything. Right. So you got the, the gloves still, the heat gloves? Or got one of them. It's a little bit warm. Not too bad. Maybe it's not too bad. Okay. Oh, no, no, there we go. All right, so. Is it rotating right? I can't feel that mine's going in at all. There we go. Got it? Yep. And again, we're doing this over the cart, so if it does fall, it will fall onto the cart. Okay, so we have this one, the small Allen wrench for the cleaning mantle, larger Allen wrench, oops. These are also going to go into this toolbox. Oh yes. All right. Nice, huh? All right. So now it's back to where it was before we started. Nice and clean. Excellent. Okay. Good job. <laughs> All right, so after we get our oil, we put it in some filter paper like this, let it set for a few days, and um, we get this nice uh, cleaned up oil. So this is the oil that we got from pressing our first round of Jotropha. Uh, we filter it with this filter paper.